everyone, it's Wendy from the library. Since so many of us are still at home and we might be tackling our spring cleaning, I thought today would be the perfect opportunity to give you some motivation to clear out your bookshelves like a true librarian. So today we're in my husband's office where he has um, curated a large collection of DVDs and books. I thought these bookshelves would be the perfect place to demonstrate my top five tips for clearing your bookshelves. So let's get started. Tip number one is to go through those shelves and donate books that you no longer love. For libraries, this process is called weeding. We are continually doing the weeding process as we welcome new books in. We're also weeding books that haven't been checked out in many years. For us at home, this is a good idea to go through this process as well. Never feel guilty about donating books because chances are when you pass it along, someone else will find it and love that book. I'll leave a list of places to donate books in the description box below this video. Just to give you an example of weeding out books and how great your shelves can look afterwards, I'm just gonna help my husband out and weed some books from this row behind me. I don't think he'll mind. See you in a few. Ah, this looks so much better already. Now it's time for tip number two. Showcase your favorites. Books can not only be useful to us, they can also just look really good on our shelves. You'll want to make your favorites and books that just look nice accessible to you. For example, I know my husband loves this series of books and they look nice too. So I'm going to make sure that these are front and center. See you in a minute. <laughs> My third tip is to group similar books together. In the library, this means grouping books by genre, like fiction, nonfiction, biography, and so on. But at home, you should group books in a way that makes sense to you. Now that you've pared down your collection, it's time to think about spacing. Tip number four is words that I live by. Shelf space is your friend. You can even use shelf space as a decorative feature. Let's give it a try. Now that we've organized our shelves, it's time for the last and arguably most fun step, add visual interest with objects. So pull out those bookends and tchotchkes, because I know you have them, and start organizing your shelves and making them look a lot more fun. You can even display books facing out, library style. So there you have it a librarian's top five tips to organizing your home bookshelves. I hope everyone is doing really well at home and everyone at the library misses our patrons. We hope to see you very soon. Bye. Hey, what did you do to my bookshelves?